What's up guys, this is Josh from ThroughMyLens.com. Today I'm going to show you 22 things to do in Seattle. Recommendation number one is Pike Place Market. As one of the most famous places in Seattle, Pike Place Market is a fun stop in the city. As you walk around the market, you can see the famous flying fish, walk down and visit the gum alley, or even go and experience the first Starbucks. I just like walking up and down the rows of vendors and getting some fresh fruit or seafood to cook at home. If you're planning on going to the first Starbucks, know that there'll be a really long line. You can always just take a picture here and go to one of my later recommendations to get your Starbucks fix. Stop number two is the Space Needle. The Space Needle is the most recognizable part of the Seattle skyline and it's a great spot for tourists in the city to visit. While not as tall as some of the other downtown observation decks, it has a great 360 degree view with an open air observation area. On one of the below floors, there's a revolving area with a glass bottom that you can walk on and it's a little vertigo inducing in a fun way. The Space Needle is a quick and touristy spot, but it provides great views and it's a fun experience to have in the city. Recommendation number three is Chihuly Garden and Glass. Located right at the base of the Space Needle, the Chihuly Garden and Glass Museum is one of my favorite things to do in Seattle. All of the glass sculptures were created by world-renowned artist Dale Chihuly, and it was opened in mid-2012. While a little pricey, this museum is amazing and features many pieces of beautiful glass art that are sure to impress the whole family. My favorite were the glass orbs that were sitting in the boats in the middle of the museum, but there's a lot to like here with a huge atrium and a garden that you can explore outside. Easily one of my favorite spots in Seattle. Stop number four is the Museum of Pop Culture. Also located next to the last two recommendations, this museum has unique architecture and it used to focus just on music but has changed to all sorts of pop culture. There are exhibits on important Seattle bands like Nirvana and Pearl Jam. There are also exhibits on sci-fi movies, fantasy stories, Marvel superheroes, and all sorts of other things. One of the most impressive areas is the massive TV screen right when you walk into the museum. Also, don't forget to see the new Chris Cornell statue that was just placed outside of the museum as well. Recommendation number five is Olympic Sculpture Park. This nine acre park was created by the Seattle Art Museum and it features a bunch of unique sculptures right next to the water. It's free to explore and spotlights many permanent and rotating exhibits. The park also has many benches to relax at that give you a good view of both the artwork and the water. My favorite piece is probably the face down near the water known as Echo, but there are lots of amazing pieces to explore. Recommendation number six is Cary Park. Northwest of downtown Seattle, Cary Park is one of the best views in the city. This small park has only a half dozen or so street parking spots, but it provides an amazing vista of downtown Seattle, the Space Needle, and even Mount Rainier if it's clear. I've been coming to Seattle for many years and I never get tired of the views at Cary Park, especially watching a sunrise or a sunset from here. Recommendation number seven is Gasworks Park. Gasworks Park is my favorite park in Seattle and it has amazing views of the Seattle skyline and the remains of an old gasification plant that ran from the early 1900s to the mid 1900s. There's a large free parking lot that you can take advantage of and lots of places for kids and adults to explore in the park. Many times while I've been in the city, I've just grabbed lunch at a local spot and gone out to sit on the park benches and look out over the water. Be sure to also walk up the small hill where they have a rose compass at the top and good views of the entire park and the old plant. Recommendation number eight is the Fremont Troll. Made famous partially by the movie 10 Things I Hate About You, the Fremont Troll is a must visit in the city. This massive troll lives under the Aurora Bridge and it holds a full Volkswagen Beetle in its left hand. Parking can be a little difficult here with only street spots available, but it's worth a short walk in order to see the fun troll under the bridge. Recommendation number 9 is Archie McPhee's. If you've seen my videos, then you know that I love the slightly strange spots, of which Archie McPhee's easily fits onto that list. This store has been a Seattle staple for decades and features everything from masks and costumes to a yodeling pickle. In the back, they also have a rubber chicken museum complete with the world's smallest and largest rubber chicken. I always spend a good 30 minutes here and I never leave without buying something from the store. 
Recommendation number 10 is a different shopping experience than the previous and that's the REI flagship store. I'm also a huge fan of the outdoors and the flagship REI is something that I never skip when I get a chance to visit it in Seattle. This store is pretty much everything you could want from an outdoor store. There are a bunch of fun things to see in the store like a wooden yurt and a three story climbing wall, plus all of the outdoor gear you could ever want to shop. There's a parking structure under the building that's free to park in for one hour and that's a rare find in downtown Seattle. Recommendation number 11 is to take the water taxi over to West Seattle. Since Seattle is basically surrounded by water, some of the best views are via boat. If you have time, you can take the ferry over to Bainbridge Island and explore for a half day, or if you don't have the time, then just take the water taxi over to West Seattle and hang out on the beach or eat at Marination Station. The water taxi is a cheap ride that provides great views of the Seattle skyline in both directions, and if you're lucky, you may also see some seals in the water as well. This is just a great way to get a unique view while you're in Seattle. Recommendation number 12 is Pioneer Square. Pioneer Square is a small area of downtown Seattle that features many of the city's most historic spots. In Pioneer Square you can take the underground tour of Seattle, go to the Klondike Historical Park which has many exhibits on the area, and visit the UPS Waterfall which is where the company UPS was created. Also I always love visiting Flatstick Pub which is a fun indoor mini golf bar with food, drinks, and fun courses. There's a lot of great spots to explore in Pioneer Square. Recommendation number 13 is to experience the Amazon Go store and check out the spheres. Seattle is the home of Amazon, one of the most popular brands in the world, and they have made their mark on the downtown. The Amazon spheres are not open to the public, but they are a unique set of glass buildings to see while in the city. Next to them is the new Amazon Go store, which is a futuristic shopping experience where you download an app, scan it, grab what you want, and just walk out of the store to get automatically charged for the items. It's a pretty crazy experience to have and certainly unique until these stores become more of the norm. Recommendation number 14 is Starbucks Reserve. While most people choose to visit the original Starbucks while in Seattle, the Starbucks Reserve feels like you're walking into some crazy Willy Wonka inspired world. There are copper pipes running along the walls, all sorts of coffee making contraptions, and roasting is pretty much always taking place. They have an extensive menu of options like cold brew aged in whiskey barrels and coffee related cocktails, as well as a dozen different types of pastries and pizzas. Do note that the drinks are more expensive than you anticipate here, but it is a lot of fun to check out. Recommendation number 15 is Discovery Park. Located outside of the downtown area in the northwest part of Seattle, this large park has miles of hiking trails and it's a beautiful place to explore. The main draw is the lighthouse located right out on the point and it's accessed by a 3 mile round trip trail. The trail is nice though going through dense foliage and along coastal views to get out to the lighthouse itself. The park is a great half day stop that allows you to get a little workout while seeing an old lighthouse and exploring some of the more beautiful, natural parts of Seattle. Recommendation number 16 is Snoqualmie Falls. Seattle is home to many amazing outdoor adventures and one of the easiest to access is Snoqualmie Falls. This massive waterfall is only 30 minutes drive outside of downtown Seattle and it's a sight to behold. You can take it in from the observation deck viewing area or you can go on the one mile round trip hike down to the bottom. While at the bottom you're not super close but it's a fun viewing area that gives you a better understanding of this impressive waterfall. For my last six recommendations, we're moving on to some of my favorite food spots in the city. My first food recommendation is Paseo. Paseo is home to one of the country's top rated sandwiches and it's easy to see why when you eat it. This small shop in Ballard which has expanded to other locations around Seattle has some amazing Cuban inspired sandwiches. I recommend the number one and it's one of my favorite spots in Seattle and it's rare that I don't visit it at least twice when I'm visiting the city. Food stop number two is Top Pot Donuts. Donuts are one of my favorite things to eat while I travel, which is why Top Pot is a must visit in Seattle for me. The popular donut establishment is located all over the city, but the two story flagship on 5th Street is my favorite. They have some amazing donuts with a focus on unique types of old fashioned donuts, and I always enjoy trying whatever the seasonal flavors are. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments. Food recommendation number three is Marination Station. Marination Station is a popular food truck turned brick and mortar restaurant with multiple locations around Seattle. I usually go to the Capitol Hill location, but if you take the water taxi I mentioned earlier, you can go to that location as well. 
The tacos are what you get here and I usually get three as it's an amazing Korean-Mexican mashup that is hard to beat. Food recommendation number four is Thai Tom. Thai food is a dime a dozen in Seattle, but my favorite spot is Thai Tom. It's on University Way, which is the main street with shopping and restaurants near University of Washington, and it's a super small spot, so be prepared to wait. It's fun to sit at the bar and watch them cooking the food in front of you, but that being said, I usually just call in my order and take it to go to avoid the line. By far the best thing to order here is the Pad Thai. Food recommendation number five is Beecher's. Since so many people look for a place to eat near Pike Place, I figured I would share my favorite. Beecher's Cheese is a Seattle institution and you can even see them making cheese through the window as you walk up to the storefront. The grilled cheese and tomato soup is amazing here, plus you can try cheese samples while you wait. I recommend taking your food to go and walking up to Rachel's Ginger Beer to grab a fun flavored ginger beer to go with the meal. It's a great combination to experience for lunch near Pike Place. My last food recommendation is Serious Pie. Serious Pie was started by famous Seattle restaurateur Tom Douglas and this spot has all sorts of amazing pizzas. I've tried many on the menu but my favorite is either the clam pizza or the mushroom one. They also make biscuits as well which are amazing for a quick breakfast or even a lunch sandwich. Half the time I go I get a pizza and a biscuit and I split both of them with whoever I'm with. Check it out next time you're in the city. That's it, hopefully you enjoyed exploring Seattle with me. Let me know if I left off something that you love in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. We will see you guys on the next video.